Okay, you don't seem like your character already because you're not crying and sad and I am and so Al. Yeah, your character so Al. Um, yeah. For anyone who hasn't read the book, how would you describe Al? Um, you can play with Zelda Al. Al is very quiet, very shy, keeps to himself. But I think, you know, he's a searcher. I think Tris kind of helps him overcome a lot of things. And he doesn't really make it to who he could become, <laughs> but uh, it was a fun experience. I know, I, I, I feel sad for your character because of yeah. that. Spoiler alert, obviously. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you possibly throw yourself into the pit. Possibly, I do. I do throw myself But I still feel like it might be, alert. might, may, yeah, spoiler alert. I feel like maybe some, somebody fly, pushed you, though. I, I don't know. I think I do it. I think I you do think it myself, you do it? sadly, yeah. Are we going to actually see something like that happen, or is it... Do we just wake up the next day and you're dead? We'll have to wait to find out. Oh. But yeah, I just did that. Okay, yeah, you did. I was expecting it, man. I should have known. Should have known better. It's going to be good, though. But you the way they figured it out, it's going to be awesome. You probably had the best um, seat in the house as far as the pit goes. You really got to see the pit. How would you describe it to fans of the book out there? Uh, the pit, man. It's very the large. Colors? It's a lot of stone, a lot of marble. We tried to keep it as true as possible. We couldn't really make it 300 stories, but uh, with a little bit of green screen, I think it will look that way. Uh, but it's awesome. I mean, the set design. When I walked in there, I was like, holy oh, shit. I mean, wow. it's like it's incredible what they did with that. And yeah. was that in Chicago as well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we filmed the whole thing in Chicago. How was it hanging in Chicago with the whole crew? Chicago, well, love the crew, but Chicago was such a great city to be in, especially because I'm a huge Blackhawks fan, and Blackhawks won the hey! Stanley Cup. So, uh, yeah, it was exciting. I'm from Chicago, too, so oh, I'm saying, yeah. Awesome, yeah. Andrew Ooh. Shaw's like my favorite player. Nice. So, um, yeah, to go through all that, and I mean, like, I threw the first pitch at a Cubs game at Wrigley, and uh, I went to the Bulls game. I met the Bulls owner. I, I saw LeBron come through with the heat. I mean, it was like... It was just incredible to be shooting a movie and kind of living your dream a little yeah. bit, like doing things you never thought you'd do, and then to also be in Chicago and go through all that sports moments. It's, I mean, I, I don't know. So since it's safe to say you're not coming back for uh, the second book, if it turns into a, a movie, who would you love to play? Uh, Woman or man? Tris. Why? Yeah, of course, Tris. Yeah. And why do you think Shailene did such a wonderful job bringing this character to life? I think Shailene's just like an angel in a way. I mean, she's so great and like she's such a pleasure to work with. You know, before I signed on to this movie, I saw this interview she did and she was like, we're doing this movie, you know, we don't want these pretty actors with their pretty boots and we want real actors. And I, I relate with that a little bit because, you know, I came from theater and I studied for so long and I care about the craft so much. Mm -hmm. So to hear something like that was so great. And even before I signed on to the movie, I was like, Oh my God, I want to work with this person. So, you know, I mean, to be in the hands of her like that and it was just great. And she's so helpful in scenes and stuff and just makes my job so much easier. Yeah. Love hearing that. Yeah. Well, congrats. Thank you Thanks so, so much. much. Yeah, Take course. care.